picture the most apocalyptic, hellish landscape you can imagine. Perpetual hurricane force winds, deadly radiation, crushing gravity, clouds of poisonous gas. Now realize a place like this actually exists right here in our cosmic backyard. The king of the planets, Jupiter, may captivate us with its swirling colors and iconic great red spot. But beneath those hypnotic bands lies a very terrifying world. In this video, we'll dive into the horrors awaiting any unfortunate soul who dares to enter Jupiter's domain. First, let's talk about the invisible killer, radiation. Jupiter's magnetic field is so powerful, it traps particles that create a radiation environment tens of thousands of times more intense than Earth's. Imagine being bombarded by a constant barrage of high-energy particles, ripping through your body at the subatomic level. No spacesuit could shield you from this onslaught. In less than five seconds, your body would be ravaged by the intense radiation causing irreparable damage to your cells and organs. You'd be doomed before even reaching the clouds. As a matter of fact, Jupiter's radiation is so severe that it poses a significant threat to the spacecraft orbiting it. The Juno spacecraft, which has been orbiting Jupiter since 2016, has to take a highly elliptical orbit to minimize its exposure to the planet's radiation belts. Despite this precaution, Juno's sensitive electronics are still expected to degrade over time due to the relentless bombardment of high-energy particles. The radiation is also thought to be responsible for the darkening of the ice on Jupiter's moons, Europa and Ganymede, as the high-energy particles break down the chemical bonds in ice. But say you somehow survive the radiation. As you descend into Jupiter's atmosphere, the pressure would build rapidly. At the cloud tops, it's already 10 times Earth's atmospheric pressure. Dive deeper and it climbs to a staggering 1,000 times sea level pressure on Earth. Under this immense force, your body would be crushed like an empty soda can under a steamroller. Every square inch of your surface would feel the weight of a fully loaded jumbo jet pressing down. No material known to humankind could maintain structural integrity. To put this into perspective, the deepest point in Earth's oceans, the Mariana Trench, has a pressure of about 1,000 bars. On Jupiter, you would experience this level of pressure at a depth of just 1,000 kilometers, less than 10% of the way to the planet's center. As you descend further, the pressure continues to mount. At the depth where the atmospheric pressure is 2 million bars, the pressure is so immense that hydrogen, the primary component of Jupiter's atmosphere is compressed into a liquid state. This liquid hydrogen creates an ocean, but not the type of ocean that we're used to here on Earth. Instead, it's a vast, dense, and highly compressed ocean of liquid hydrogen, unlike anything found on our planet. And even if by some miracle your spacesuit could withstand the pressure, Jupiter's gravity would still be your undoing. At 2.4 times Earth's gravity, simply lifting your arm would feel like bench pressing a boulder. Walking? Forget it. Each step would be a Herculean task, the weight of your own body threatening to shatter your skeleton with every movement. Your cardiovascular system would be overwhelmed trying to pump blood against this force. Asphyxiation and heart failure would quickly claim you. One interesting fact to note is that Jupiter's immense gravity has also had profound effects on the planet itself. It's responsible for the incredible pressures found deep within the planet, which in turn give rise to exotic states of matter like metallic hydrogen. Jupiter's gravity is also thought to be the source of the planet's internal heat. As the planet contracted during its formation, the gravitational energy was converted into heat which continues to radiate from the planet's interior to this day. Perhaps, though, the most tangible horror of Jupiter awaits in its temperature extremes. High in the atmosphere, you'd face a frigid negative 234 degrees Fahrenheit. But as you sink deeper, the temperature soars. Thanks to Jupiter's immense atmospheric pressure, temperatures reach a scorching 2,420 degrees Fahrenheit at the cloud base hotter than the melting point of gold. No human-made materials could withstand such infernal heat. You'd be vaporized long before reaching these depths. 
All the while, Jupiter's atmosphere is in constant turmoil. Ferocious winds screen through the clouds at over 385 miles per hour, nearly twice the top speed of a Formula One racer. Imagine the fiercest hurricane on Earth, then amplify it a hundredfold. These ceaseless gales would buffet you mercilessly, flinging you about like a rag doll caught in a tornado. Maintaining any sense of orientation would be impossible as you tumble helplessly through the maelstrom. These winds are not just a surface phenomena. They extend deep into the planet's atmosphere and are thought to be driven by a combination of heat rising from the interior and the planet's rapid rotation. Jupiter's day is only about 10 hours long, and this rapid spin creates strong Coriolis forces that give rise to the planet's distinctive banded appearance. The winds in adjacent bands blow in opposite directions, creating immense shear forces that can generate storms and turbulence. Perhaps most unsettling, though, is what lies, or rather doesn't lie, beneath. Unlike Earth, Jupiter has no solid surface to land on. It's an endless expanse of ever denser gas, growing hotter and more pressurized as you descend. You'd simply sink into the abyss, the light of the sun fading above as you plunge into inkier depths, crushing pressure and searing heat mounting until your journey ends in the planet's mysterious core. What awaits at Jupiter's heart is a matter of scientific debate, but it certainly isn't salvation. The core is thought to be a seething maelstrom of rock, metal, and ice, subjected to titanic pressures and temperatures soaring over 63,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the sun's surface. This inferno is wrapped in a layer of metallic hydrogen, an exotic state of matter found nowhere on Earth. There can be no thought of setting foot here. You'd be vaporized, ionized, and fused into this alien matter, your atoms scattered and forever intermingled with Jupiter's. The exact nature of Jupiter's core remains one of the great mysteries of planetary science. Some models suggest that it might be a solid core of rock and ice, while others propose that it might be a diffuse, partially dissolved core that extends halfway to the planet's surface. The extreme conditions at the center of Jupiter make direct observation impossible. So, scientists must rely on indirect methods, like studying the planet's gravitational and magnetic fields, to infer the properties of the core. And even if you could somehow nullify gravity, pressure, and temperature, Jupiter's atmosphere itself is pure poison. Mostly hydrogen and helium. It's utterly starved of oxygen. You'd asphyxiate in seconds. And the trace amounts of ammonia, methane, and other compounds would form a noxious brew that would sear your lungs and attack your body like acid. Each breath would be agony as the caustic gases dissolved your respiratory system from the inside. These toxic compounds are not just passive components of the atmosphere, however. They actively shape the planet's appearance and behavior. The ammonia in Jupiter's atmosphere, for example, is responsible for the white clouds that can be seen in the planet's upper atmosphere. When the ammonia freezes, it forms ice crystals that reflect sunlight, creating the bright white bands that are one of Jupiter's most distinctive features. Suppose, through some scarcely imaginable technology, you could surmount all these challenges. What kind of life awaits you on Jupiter? The answer is practically none at all. With no solid ground to build on, no water to drink, no air to breathe, and no recognizable food sources, Jupiter is as close to a vision of hell as nature provides. Survival would be a minute-to-minute -minute struggle against a relentlessly lethal environment an eternal prison of suffering and deprivation with no hope of escape or respite.